loves welcome back to my channel so you already know what it is this is the second episode of the mini series get out the boat and today we're going to be reading matthew chapter 14 22 through 32 um so let's just get started reading and then i will talk about this a little further so it says immediately after this jesus insisted that his disciples get back into the boat and cross to the other side of the lake while he went while he sent the people home after sending them home he went up into the hills by himself to pray night fell while he was there alone meanwhile the disciples were in trouble far away from land for a strong wind had risen and they were fighting heavy waves about three o'clock in the morning jesus came toward them walking on the water when the disciples saw him walking on the water they were terrified in their fear they cried out it's a ghost but jesus spoke to them at once don't be afraid and take courage i am here then peter called to him lord if it's really you tell me to come to you walking on the water yes come jesus said so peter went over the side of the boat and walked on the water toward jesus but when he saw the strong wind and the waves he was terrified and began to sink save me lord he shouted jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him you have so little faith jesus said why did you doubt me when they climbed back into the boat the wind stopped then the disciples worshiped him you really are the son of god they exclaimed Whew. So let me take that in because literally while I was reading this, like I just felt like I was getting poured into. Um, it was on the part of when they felt like they saw a ghost. Um, and then Jesus was saying, don't be afraid. So this can correlate to the calling that God has placed on your life. You know, God... You can't surprise God. You can't surprise God, right? Um, he knows the the trials and the things that are ahead of us when we start to move towards our calling. How how the the waves, the heavy waves that that gale, the strong wind started working uh, against them while they were in the boat. I feel like. Um, a lot of y'all can relate to this. I know that I can when we're going after our calling, but then like trials happen and things don't go as we think they should, but nothing surprises God. And you see how Jesus said, don't be afraid, take courage, I am here. And I think sometimes we get so engulfed in the trials and tribulations that we forget that, hey, God is with me. Nothing surprises him. I know that this is going to work out for my good regardless of the outcome i can trust god so that's that's one thing that i got from this and another thing is <clears throat> so let's go back to peter it says then peter called to him lord if it's really you tell me to come to you walking on the water and jesus replied yes come so you know how i can't tell you exactly where it is to be completely honest with you but I'm pretty sure you can find it if you type in the words into you version, it'll pop up. But it says to test the spirits and you see how Peter tested it. I, I think that's something that I never really looked at before. But there's nothing wrong with when you're in a trial and um, when you're in a trial and you hear a voice, you hear God speaking to you or you're not really sure it's okay to um ask god to confirm it's okay to um it's okay to ask for clarity the only the only time i will say is to um you got you just got to be careful not to get caught up in that clarity thing because you you will never move forward um but it is okay to test the spirit and um, that has nothing to do with the series, but that that is a little nugget. Um, so you see how Peter worked with Jesus. Um, it's only when he started to um, work against Jesus, which to work against Jesus is to not have faith in him. 
and we see that Peter started to doubt that he was going to be able to keep walking on the water. He took his eyes off of Jesus and that's when he started to sink. And, um, and Jesus says, you have so little faith. Why did you doubt me? So we have to be careful when we go into our calling, our assignments, that we don't take our eyes off of Jesus. Just like I mentioned in the story of uh, Mary and Martha, we have to be careful not to take our eyes off of Jesus while we're going through different trials and things like that that come with the calling that has been placed on our life. Um, and another thing is, you notice how, like I said, nothing surprises God. So he told him, you know, y'all go ahead on, on the boat or whatever. You notice how um, Jesus was not worried. God is not worried, okay? Whenever you sense worry, that's from you. God, you know, God is a God of peace. Jesus is peace. So even, and I, and I know that this is hard to take in because we're humans. However, I just want to tell you, even when you're going through those trials, you don't have to worry. You don't have to stress about it because Jesus is here with us. And just like I'm going through a little car journey, which I can't wait to give y'all all the details when it, everything that he said over this whole car journey comes to pass. But even, even with that, that's like a strong... I feel like this car journey has been like a gale to me. It's been a very strong win because I know what God has spoken to me about um, my car, but it's like there are other people in my ear, loved ones, you know, it's nothing out of malice or anything, but because they don't understand or they wouldn't understand if I told them what was really going on. Um, sometimes it's hard being in the in the thick of a journey with God and people around you don't understand um but you have to keep your eyes on Jesus like I even had a um a business a past business mentor tell me this like you know God's gonna do some things like soon you need to be focused on Jesus so I feel like I rambled a little bit, but at the same time, I hope that this was good to you because it was good to me. Um, so the whole point of this is if you want to get out of the boat, you have to be willing to work with Jesus. You have to be willing to, even when you get out in the thick of it, you have to keep your eyes focused on Jesus. And for me, I know that I fell off just being transparent. I fell off. Um with Jesus because I I was letting I let the world in a lot a lot a lot okay I started re-watching this show that I love so much and I just started to watch it all the time and it kind of well it it cut into my prayer time okay and that really set me off a little like I, I felt out of balance. I feel like I wasn't patient as I used to be, uh, even though that's the area I'm still working on, but it was like less patient than I normally am. And we have to keep our eyes on Jesus. And <clears throat> in order to get out of the boat, <clears throat> you're going to need to be focused on Jesus because I can't say that enough because he will give you the, the direction. He directs our steps. And if you're... If you're everything he says, you're scared, you're staying in the boat, you're never going to get anywhere. So I really hope that this encourages you to read further and really meditate on Matthew chapter 14, 22 through 32. And let me know in the comments what insights you got from it. What did Holy Spirit download into you? And yeah, I will see you guys on the next episode and we will be studying. Let me look. Mark chapter 6 verses 45 through 52. So I will see y'all then. Remember to stay humble and stay blessed. Bye. Uh, uh.